Good morning friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 26th, 2024. Well, yesterday we had kind of a slide in the market, but it was very, very weird because there was such a light volume move on the day. So very, very controlled. <clears throat> so what does that mean for today? Well, first off, let's take a look at what happened overnight. Asian markets ended up closing mixed with um, South Korea um, turning in a two-year high. Um, Hong Kong was up strongly and Shanghai was just barely up while Australia and the Nikkei were just a little bit lower. This morning um, at wee hours of the morning we have European markets mostly higher only the FTSE just ever so slightly lower this morning down 0.4 percent so very uh, very small um, loss there so far on the FTSE and we have U.S. futures green across the board and they have actually been getting stronger since um, I have been preparing to do the video if we take a look at oil this morning Oil had a really good day yesterday, but is easing back up just a back just a little bit. Um, we have oil down 29 cents at 81.64 a barrel, and Brent is down 34 cents at 86.41 a barrel. With natural gas just slightly higher by 2.9 cents. If we take a look at our uh, bonds here this morning. Our bonds eased up just a tiny, just like a tick. We have the two-year bonds at 4.59%. The 10-year is at 4.23%. And the 30-year is coming in at 4.39% so far this morning. So keep an eye on those. Um, progress through the day. They've been fluctuating just a little tiny bit here recently as we move toward that inflation number at the end of the week. If we um, um, were to take a look at gold and um, precious metals, gold is up this morning, $18.20 an ounce, but we've got silver lower, copper almost flat, platinum and palladium a little bit lower. And we have crypto this morning that just soared yesterday um, above 70,000 again, and now up just 197. So just a slight gain um, in the move on Bitcoin. So a lot of, lot of volatility here in the market in a lot of different areas, um, which makes for maybe some uncomfortable trading. Now, what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain a little information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Let's try to shake off our bias and just take a look at the charts and see um, how they're shaping up. Well, first off, if we take a look at the diamonds here, you can see pulling back here to this support in the chart, that's actually a very bullish pullback because it was really wasn't strong. The volume was weak into this pullback, continuing to weaken here. So this has been a, a very light and well-controlled pullback. And if we take a look right here, holding that support, if the bulls can find inspiration today, then there's every reason to believe that we can push right back up here in this chart. And looking um, right here, you can see if we break back through here, I think breaking through there would be a critical level up through some of that resistance in the chart. And then the next level is gonna be somewhere right in there. And then of course, beyond that, we're probably testing highs in the diamonds to see if we can push on through. So if the bulls find that inspiration, and right now there's um, every reason to believe uh, they can because we are pushing higher and higher and higher 
um, here in the morning with Dow futures now up 101 points. Now, if the bears, uh, if this were to reverse and we were to see those bears engage, of course, this is going to be a critical level. If that holds support, we're probably in good shape. We could rest out here um, several days and that wouldn't harm anything. It would be if we were to fail below there, that would probably raise a little bit of concern in the market, breaking some support. And I would say likely bringing us down into a little support area right in here. Beyond that point, we're probably looking at coming down pretty hard um, down here to this next area of price support. So keep an eye on that if those bears were to engage. If we take a look at our SPY, my goodness, what a bullish looking chart. I mean, there's nothing in here that's particularly bearish. As a matter of fact, what this looks like to me is we have just created um, a possibility for the next um, um, higher low here in the SPY. Very controlled pullback here. We ended up just a little bit of, of, of buying coming in there um, on the SPY, holding that price support in the chart. So you can see right here, it's not going to even take all that big a push by the bulls. If we were to break back through this area right here, pushing back up, then we're testing um, all-time highs here in the spy and blue sky above. Now, if the bears were to engage and find some inspiration in here and break down below this level, you could also see it really wouldn't take all that much um, here as well if those bears were to uh, find something to grab onto. And pushing down through this area could be pretty interesting. Now, there's a little bit of price support right in there that we could catch a level of, price, um, of support. So watch carefully for that. And bouncing off of that probably wouldn't cause us too much problem in the market. If we were to sink lower into some of these levels, then we really start raising some fear here in the market. And um, I would be looking for some pressure or trouble to uh, start coming into play. But right now, you've got to look at that chart and say, uh, the bulls are definitely in control in the S&P 500. And then if we take a look at our whoops, um, QQQ, our NASDAQ also showing bullishness here this morning with a big push in the pre-market. Notice we gapped down and pushed back up. And even though we closed um, in the red yesterday on the QQQ, um, taking a look right here, you can see pushing back up, breaking through some resistance in that chart um, right here gives us every reason to believe that we could push on higher here. And you, you can see it really wouldn't take all that much to push us up. And we're looking at new record highs and blue skies above here in queues. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration here on the day, then pushing back down, maybe to test some price support, breaking through this area right here would probably bring us in to test that low of yesterday. And then beyond that, we're probably slipping down into these levels of the chart. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, we're, we're at the cusp of making a pretty important decision on the upside here or the downside if those bears were to engage. Right now, you got to give the odds to the upside because of the current futures showing so much bullishness. And then if we take a look at um, IWM, IWM also catching that little bit of bullishness move here today. Yesterday, it was the only index that really held up okay in, in that bullish uh, pattern. So if we hold right in here, that sets up that upside opportunity. Now, I do think it's going to continue to take some rotation to make that occur. We're going to need to see um, a lot of these um, high flying stocks continue to see softness so that we can get that rotation going in here toward those small caps. So if we see the tech sector really strong today, it's possible this could fade back. Now, watching this carefully, um, if we were to break through this level up here in the IWM, that would be a huge break. You can see this is a massive area of price resistance in the chart, and we have struggled with it for a while. If we can pop through there and hold above there, well, I would say all bets are off, and there could be a pretty good substantial 
um, excitement in the market, particularly if it holds up there and we start running higher in the Russell. However, if we were to run up here once again, running into any of these price resistance points and those bears find inspiration somewhere between here and here, and we were to push back lower, that could raise some concern with a kind of a triple failure here trying to test that resistance um, in the chart. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX yesterday, no fear. We did hold a little bit higher in the VIX, holding in there 13, just over 13 handles in the VIX. But notice that we rallied up in here, we pushed in the pre-market, try to pop that area of resistance in the chart and then reversed. So no fear here in the market to speak of. We hit that resistance and we're maintaining right now in this downtrend. So every reason to believe if those bulls um, show what they're showing right now that the this could push right on lower here in the chart. Um, we are probably getting into a bit of complacency here at this point um, of the market. So we will wanna watch for that possibility if there is something that brings the bears out that we could shift quite quickly here in the market. But for now, bulls are definitely in control. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 indicator yesterday ended up turning just a little bit higher, hooking up, which means while we were selling off in a lot of the indexes yesterday, there was actually more stocks moving up than there were moving down. It may not have felt like that looking at the index charts, but that was certainly the, the case here. So uh, pushing up here just a little bit. So if those bulls find inspiration, we certainly have plenty of upside opportunity for them to press back up here to the upside. If they were to run into some trouble and those bears were to take over, we certainly have a big downside opportunity as well that we can engage and push this on lower. So watch these carefully here in the market. We, we, we have some data points that could make today, we have some data points that could make that decision for us, whether we're gonna move up or whether we're gonna move down. Let's take a look at our T2108, the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average. You can see faded just a little bit yesterday, um, but boy, really no worry in here. If you take a look, we really didn't take out any support levels in the chart. Trend is still bullish. So you gotta give this up to the bulls, even though there was a little bit of a fade there yesterday. It may be at kind of an important point, um, if those bulls engage today, we press on higher. If those bears were to engage, that could be a little bit of a tricky point here if for some reason we get some data that inspires the bears. If we take a look at our uh, T2107, going to call that pretty much the same way. The bulls are in control, even though we saw just a little tiny fade in here yesterday. Um, percentage above the 200-day moving average still holding support in that chart and holding trend. So you gotta give this to the bulls and every reason to believe they can push on higher. A failure here though could raise a little bit of concern if the bears were to find any reason to engage. And then our T2101, boy, I gotta tell you, this is a pretty hard one to, to wrap your head around with the selling that we saw yesterday um, the pulling back in the market, we have seen the last couple of days a big strong surge in breadth to the up, uh, to the upside here. Um, we had more stocks being bought yesterday than are going up than we saw going down. So um, what that inspiration here to suddenly change in breadth and I don't know if this is more of that end of month window dressing end of quarter window dressing starting to come into play. If it um, was just a last splurge coming into play by big tech and things like that that are slipping in to their blackout period. But interesting that we had um, a surge in breadth and it wasn't visible in volume. Very, very weird that we had such a surge in breadth and our volume was so weak. So kind of an interesting um, a market here that makes you want to scratch your head and go, hmm, 
something seems to be out of whack but and once again we've got to stick with the bulls as long as this trend continues if we take a look at our um, um, economic calendar here for today well we certainly have a few things to be paying attention to on that economic calendar first off we're gonna get durable goods orders this morning durable goods are expected to come in um, stronger based on consensus we were a negative 6.1 last time if, if you remember showing there was a pretty substantial decline in durable goods orders um, consensus is suggesting that we're going to see that rebound here strongly today so this is one of those numbers if we do get that rebound the market could celebrate on the bullish side if it happens to miss that's where we could see that bearish engagement here today. So watch that carefully. That comes right out um, before the market opens. Just shortly after that, we're going to get the Case Shiller. Case Shiller is also looking for an improvement in the home price index. So keep that in mind, um, showing that those housing prices are continuing to go up. We've got um, um, the house price index in here we'll want to watch that as well we've got a consumer confidence number and consensus is expecting that consumer confidence number to remain flat um, anytime I see this it's uh, it's like uh, we're guessing we don't know exactly know what um, what this could be so watch that closely remember the way the consumers are feeling is how the market typically um, responds. So if um, if this grows, market's going to be happy. If this sinks, market could find a little bit of bearishness coming into play. We've got a Richmond Fed manufacturing coming in here. That's still expected to come in at a negative, um, but we don't care about manufacturing anymore as long as tech is moving. And we take a look, we've got a five-year uh, note auction and money supply after that point. Looking into Wednesday, we have our normal mortgage applications and our petroleum status. Um, a couple of bond auctions in here and we have Waller speaking as we wait and wonder for the GDP number on Thursday and then of course when the market is closed we're going to end up getting the um, uh, personal incomes and outlays um, here uh, market will be closed on Friday and we even have a Jerome Powell speech so yeah be prepared for anything and uh, next Monday Let's take a look at our earnings calendar here for today. We do have a few earnings uh, notables here this morning, but you know, uh, I'm using the term notables a little bit loosely here. Um, not the kind of stocks that really move the market dramatically. Um, we have GDS, whoops, GDS on that list today. Looks like it's moving a little bit lower this morning after its report. Um, MKC maybe one of the more notables here today uh, making a nice little break here in the pre-market after its report um, coming out of this base that's looking pretty good there um, snx um, also on that list this morning going just a little bit higher um, after reporting this afternoon we're going to have cnxc keep an eye on that um, we're going to have GameStop. GameStop surged like a wild surge yesterday heading into its earnings, coming up right into this downtrend here in the chart. So keep an eye on that this afternoon. That could be interesting. Look for some volatility in it. Um, NCNO will be reporting today and PRGS will also be reporting today. So keep an eye on those. And that's the, that's the extent of uh, the notable earnings for today. How about we um, take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could do me that favor and that would be click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment 
that helps the channel to continue to grow. I want to say thank you so much to everyone who does do that. And I do try to answer all of those comments. Um, some days I, it just doesn't happen, but the, the vast majority I answer those comments. So thank you everyone. And remember, even an emoji counts as an engagement with a video. So thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these stocks that could be setting up. Remember, these are not um, recommendations to buy or sell anything. You need to do your own due diligence. You should be following your risk tolerance here in the market. If anything, these are nothing more than something to keep an eye on on a watch list and you make your decisions on that. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. First off, let's take a look at a couple things going on um, with currency. If we look at UUP this morning, UUP showing a little bit of a gap down, but immediately um, catching some buyers in here. Again, when we see a weakening in bonds, we will typically see the dollar get stronger. So watch that carefully. We shot up pretty strongly yesterday um, after uh, dropping down. So watch that carefully here. If the dollar continues to strengthen, we would look for things like um, commodities to uh, pull back. Um, yesterday, that really wasn't the case in a lot of places, but we did see it in some places. So keep an eye on um, the dollar here today. Um, also, you might wanna keep an eye on some of these bond funds here today. If the, um, the bond yields weaken as they're doing this morning, we can see TLT and bond funds move higher. Remember, that's an inverse relationship. Um, yields going up means bonds themselves are going down. Yields um, weakening going down means bonds themselves are going up. So if we see um, those bond yields weaken, watch this carefully here in TLT. Now, something I've been watching for and just hasn't had the strength yet to get her done, but popped through this downtrend. You can see we popped here and just couldn't hold it and fell right back through. Pop through here and hold a higher low and see those buyers stepping up. I'm probably going to be adding in some bonds if that is the case, if we're gonna weaken that up. We're not gonna worry about inflation at all. So watch that carefully. And I would suspect if we start to see this come into a bullish trend, we're likely going to see big banks picking up heavily here on um, some of these bonds. So watch those carefully. And you could also look at like uh, BND, oops. There we go, uh, BND bond fund. You can see that same kind of thing. We're just trying to sneak out from underneath a little bit of a W bottom formation, pop up under here and hold. Then we may have that opportunity for some upside opportunity in BND and even um, junk bonds would be um, showing some bullishness if we were to um, see those bond yields weaken, popping up through here and holding then we might be working that little upside trend here in uh, junk bonds, so watch those. Let's take a look at um, some of those commodity um, values in here that have definitely been moving around. If we were to take a look at um, oil, um, there we go, um, oil had a nice, push to the upside. The oil and gas companies themselves had a nice push to the upside, surging just a little bit in places, which may mean that we could be reaching an end of that rally here soon. But watch this carefully. Um, we've got a lot of concern with Russia attacking oil infrastructure over there in Ukraine, um, targeting refineries and pipelines. Um, over there. So there's a lot of concern in the world right now um, as the tensions, I think, in between Russia and Ukraine are getting higher. And uh, the market right now has just been really good at ignoring it, uh, not worrying about it at all. Well, that could change very quickly if we start taking out 
some of those critical infrastructure things that affect the rest of the world. So watch that carefully here. Breaking through resistance, any rest or pullback now, I think, sets up that opportunity. If it can hold that higher low up here and hold in on that trend, I would look for oil then to potentially move on higher. Take a look at um, oil holders ETF, the oil holders ETF breaking through substantial resistance in the chart, clearly breaking out from underneath that downtrend. I do think it's a little bit extended here in the short term, probably needs a rest or pullback, but keep an eye on stocks like that, OIH, um, ExxonMobil, um, whoops. Exxon Mobil um, stretched up yesterday and you can see here in the pre-market it's trying to pop just a little bit and you'll notice in here breaking through some resistance in the chart. Rest consolidate back into trend looking for upside opportunity there and you can really go um, all over the place here in the oil sector. If we were to go into refining big surge in refining i mean just ripping to the upside if i make that a weekly chart i want you to notice valeros is at all-time highs here um as we have supplies so low uh, probably no big surprise that refining here in the united states is working double time so any rest or pullback in here i think would set up an opportunity to move on higher let's look at a different area of the market let's take a look at some of the miners out there take a look at gdx gdx setting up in a bullish pattern here this is um, the um, miners etf and showing lots of potential strength a very good bullish pattern for that upside move i would watch that carefully you could take a look at things like um, barry gold barry if i could type this morning that would help barry gold setting up in a bullish pattern watch for that opportunity that might break out of there and push right on up here in the chart take a look at newmont newmont setting in this bullish pattern if we take a look at stocks like au holding in that bullish pattern uh, trying to push back up it may have some resistance here that it's going to have to deal with but you can see the bullishness in many places here in that gold market including uh, the gld etf and of course um, phys physical gold um, breaking trying to break out here in the pre-market and moving on higher so watch that carefully um, it's interesting today that we're seeing um, this kind of strength um, even as we show so much bullishness in the market remember gold silver things like that are protective um, areas of the market not typically known for lots and lots of strength speaking protective areas of the market take a look at stocks like colgate uh, consumer defensive areas are showing some strength this has been in an upside trend for some time if i make this a weekly this is an all-time high breakout in a multi-high multi-year breakout in Col colgate and holding into a nice little bullish pattern if that shows those buyers stepping through i'd watch that closely every reason to believe that that could move on higher stocks even coming off of the bottom in some of these um, i think are worth keeping an eye on hershey had a pretty rough day yesterday breaking down so maybe this is falling out of contention but watch that closely this has been a long basing pattern if we were to get some bulls pushing up in here i would keep an eye on that um, khc khc breaking the downtrend here in the chart pushing into some resistance it's still got to deal with that up here if it can hold and get up here great if it rests right in here and it could push on through no problem just holding that higher low is going to be critical in here so we're seeing some of those defensive sector stocks showing some considerable bullishness around the market um, and that's indicating that rotation that i've been talking about into um, more of a safety play here in the market dividend players um, in the market take a look at paypal paypal coming up out of this bottom you guys know i've been talking about this for a while 
coming up out of that downtrend this has been trying to work through these patterns um, any rest consolidation in here um, I think could set up that next opportunity in that trade so keep an eye on PayPal trying to come around um, SQ SQ is an interesting looking chart and I got to tell you that I do have a bias because I'm holding this in a longer term portfolio but you can see that possibility of breaking through a major area of resistance here in the chart and trying to hold into that bullish pattern I'd watch that carefully for that next potential move to the upside so quite a few charts in here showing uh, bullish bullish patterns you may have to look around a little bit because they're not the usual suspects in a lot of places if we take a look at Walmart this is setting up for that upside move keep an eye on that if that can push on higher and I also think Target could be trying to make that move to make a major breakout up here so I would watch that carefully. If that were to pop up there and hold that higher low, then I think I would be interested um, in Target coming on up. And last but not least, um, Disney finally made this big break of this resistance coming up out of this bottom. Got an upgrade yesterday. Any rest or pullback in here, I think, sets up an opportunity if you're not already in it. Um, I'd be keeping an eye uh, for an opportunity to uh, jump into that trade. So watch that closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Remember, we could, we could be very sensitive here in the market with that big change in um, a market breadth on such low volume so don't be too surprised if we see uh, some pretty substantial point whipsaws we're gonna have to stay probably pretty sensitive to the um, the data points coming out with that GDP coming up that uncertainty of GDP and then that um, inflation number coming in on Friday still a lot of uncertainty in the market so just make sure you plan your risk accordingly and be very very careful not to overtrade this market because we do have that potential for really big point swings at some point in time so have an awesome day and I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning, wishing you all the very, very best.